love my Asians. I love Asian people. What kind of Asian are you? Vietnamese. Vietnamese, that's my favorite kind of Asian. Hell yeah, Vietnamese. You know why I like Vietnamese? Because the food is delicious. Yes, if you've never had Vietnamese food, you're missing out. Most people do Chinese, Japanese, Thai, but Vietnamese, you gotta try it. They have a soup and it's delicious. It's, it's spelled P-H-O. You ever heard of that soup? Yeah. Yep, yep. And when I went there the first time, I go, can I try your pho? The lady's like, it's not pho, it's pho. <laughs> All right, I got it. <laughs> then I realized the name of her restaurant was hilarious. It was good for you. I'm like, damn, that's funny, man. I was like, this is good for me. That's good. <laughs> so then I started looking for Vietnamese food all around the world. I went to Las Vegas. I kid you not, there's a lady there named Kim Long and she wanted you to try her Vietnamese food. So she opened her own restaurant and named it after herself. It's called Pho Kim Long. <laughs> Accident, I don't know. It's open 24 hours. That's pretty interesting. You can fuck him for breakfast, fuck him for lunch, fuck him for dinner, fuck him long time. Always open. It's delicious. During the pandemic, they shut down a lot of these restaurants. I was like, I have an idea for a Vietnamese restaurant. If there's any Vietnamese people here, I want to go into business with you. I came up with a plan. We would make it a drive through only Vietnamese restaurant. How cool would that be? drive through only, you take the ingredients, you eat them at home. I already got the name picked out. Go pho yourself. Politicians like, you're not essential. Go fight yourself, we open. <laughs> if you don't like it, go to Panda Express. We don't care. Before the pandemic, I went to uh, Thailand to do comedy. I can't believe it, Thailand was, has anyone been to Thailand by round of applause? You've been to Thailand? Have you been? Never, you never been to Thailand over here? You haven't been? No, never been. Thailand was amazing. And I was like, I can't wait to be here, try the food, make people laugh. And the best part, I think Asian women are gorgeous. I'm gonna see what's up. But my friend has been to Thailand many times before. He said, be careful, Kayvon. Some of those women are not women. <laughs> I was like, yeah, but you can tell. He's like, you can't tell, dude. <laughs> he looked at me like he had been tricked. <laughs> can't tell. I was like, all right, so I'll be extra careful. So I got there and I was at this hotel. I'm like, I'm going to the club tonight. And the lady was like, oh, you're gonna have fun. Nice Thai lady. I go, hey, how do I know if it's a, if it's a woman or not really a woman at the club? She's like, oh, very simple. I go, really? She goes, yeah, if she very pretty, it's lady boy. <laughs> I said, excuse me? She goes, if she very, very beautiful, that's lady boy. I'm like, damn, that changes everything. I went to the club that night, like, where's all the ugly chicks at? Make some noise. <laughs> I'm looking for fives and belows. Get out of here, beautiful women. No, no, swipe left. Yeah, get out of here. You're too beautiful, all of you. I don't trust any of these ladies in the front row. They're beautiful, beautiful. Because I was going to Thailand. I wasn't trying to bang cock. You know? And uh, that'll be the worst joke you hear tonight, but uh, needed to be said. Some people complain after the show, they go, I don't like that joke, because that means you're anti-trans. I am not anti-anything. I'm trying to tell you, I have my preferences. Is that okay anymore to have a preference in 2020 something? You can have a preference. I prefer my women the way a LA girl prefers her salad. Hormone free. Non-genetically modified. And I'm allergic to nuts. <laughs> I don't want them in my throat. 